Hello everybody, today I'm going to try to automate uh, the application within the iOS simulator. So what I've put together is a bunch of uh, tools, Appium, and then Xcode, and uh, the web driver. This isn't the web driver from uh, Selenium, but the one from Facebook, which uh, basically runs a, a local web server um, on the simulator device itself, and it's pretty cool how it works. So let's see, so we're going to launch uh, Appium right now. What I'm going to do is uh, launch Appium. Okay, it's gonna come up, it's a little bit slow, but that's uh, okay. So to tell us uh, a little bit about why I want to do this, um, is because a good use case would be to measure sync uh, duration over time. And instead of doing this uh, every day manually, what we can do actually is uh, schedule a cron job and launch the automated script that we're, we'll be writing. Okay, so here's Appium. We're gonna start the server. So once it's running, then I can actually launch the inspector session. It looks more like a search icon. So that threw me at first, but uh, nevertheless, it's the inspector icon. And then once I launch it, um, it will ask me for some config specs. Instead of uh, typing all in, I've saved it here. It's a JSON string, I'm just gonna paste it in. And I'm going to save it. So basically it tells me the device I want to launch and then the app I want to run. And I'm going to start a session right now. Click on start session. So you can see the uh, log uh, running um, within this window here to tell us uh, what Appium is actually doing. Instead of just uh, looking at this spinning activity indicator. Okay, so the inspector is kind of launching and what we're going to be doing is we're going to take a look at um, what's available. So let's see where the simulator is. It's actually right here. So one of the things you can do is try to uh, identify the element. So that's obviously not it. So you want to be a little bit more granular and kind of just go into it. So what I'm going to do is for the password element, wait for a little bit for it to uh, capture the metadata. And I'm going to send the keys with just the uh, password. Actually, before I do that, I need to actually record the session. Start the recording. And uh, I have the password highlighted. I'm going to send the keys. So my password is going to be testing one, two, three, send the keys. And then what's gonna happen is um, it'll be going through the web driver, as you can see right now, um, it launched the uh, keyboard. So what I wanna do is next click on sign in. So before I do that, I probably need to refresh the screen to kind of uh, get back um, within the inspector um, what elements I have. So if I want to be, if I want to test if I'm lucky, I can also just uh, go directly to the sign-in button. So in this case, uh, regardless of whoever is uh, on screen right now, since it hasn't refreshed, what I can do also is um, send a tap in here. Okay, actually the screen refreshed, um, but then I'll send a tap in here anyways. So I'm gonna tap here. And what's gonna happen here, you see in the bottom is that it is actually uh, moving. So I think I can probably send another tap. But that's, doesn't actually recognize where it is. It's not great. Let's see if this part's gonna work. Or the other thing you can do with Appium is we can uh, 
top by coordinates. As you can see with these error messages, it's still a little bit um, um, in work and development. Top by coordinates, you could top right here. Let's see if that's going to work. I don't know if it's going to go find it or not. As you can see right here, um, the recorder actually recorded a bit of the um, navigational steps. And if you want to see what the, oh, there it goes, it actually went. If you want to see um, the actual real Python code, you can show the uh, boilerplate code, which is here. So you can scroll uh, up and down, you can see um, it wraps it on Python. So what we can do it now is we can copy this and I'm gonna go to this folder here. Actually, before I do that, let me just refresh the screen once more and see if I can actually tap the uh, sync button. If I can, that'd be great. So let's look at this window to see what the server is doing. It's trying to get a screenshot from the simulator. Okay, so It's actually going. So what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna try to tap this button here. So it'll be select element. Let's see if we can tap this here. So that particular element is sync button. So I am going to wait for it and then tap. Okay, so it's actually syncing. It's really great. What I'm going to do actually is uh, pause the recording, take a look at the play code again. I'm sure we capture the uh, sync action or not, but either way, I'll copy it here. And then from here, I'm going to create a Python script. Paste all that in. Okay, so I have a Python script. What I'm going to do is python three test sync dot py. Okay, so outside of uh, Appium, I'm basically running the script and sending it to the uh, server. And what we're going to see is um, the simulator actually um, launching. Okay, so we can wait a little bit. What it's going to do is Let's go ahead and go and look for the password uh, field and hopefully populate that. So there it is doing it. Sign in. And the script should actually be sending a click. So 
Let's see. I think if the coordinates are off, we may not be able to send the click in. But anyway, so you can get the idea of uh, how we can actually uh, perform some automation using Appium and WebDriver and uh, how to actually record a screen.